Good morning and welcome to ZTech News Episode 7. And it's early morning. Uh, kids are off to school. Uh, my hair is a mess. I'm going to be leaving for work very soon to my retail computer job. Yay. And today we're going to be talking about the importance, and then I stress this, the importance of a proper power supply for your build or your rig. Either it be gaming, you know, work stuff, whatever. It's important that you get a proper power supply. But first, we're going to do the news. And it's important news. Today's the day that the RTX 2080 is being released in stores. Ooh, the new NVIDIA GTX. Uh, let's see, uh, Zotax making one, or Zotax, M uh, MSI, Asus... Uh, EVGA, those are the SKUs that we have coming into the store, but they're not coming into our store today, unfortunately. Um, I can't really tell you what store I work for uh, because I'm not officially sanctioned to do this by the uh, the uh, the uh, the corporate part of the store. But just to let you know, our store will be getting or, or the stores in in our district the two biggest ones will be getting very few cards. If you haven't pre-ordered, your SOL. Seriously, your SOL if you haven't pre-ordered. If you pre-ordered, you'll be getting one for sure. But if you have not, you're not getting one. And if you think you're going to walk into the store that I work at and pick one up today, again, you're not going to be getting one. Uh, we checked the system. Nothing came in on the truck yesterday. Nothing's planned on coming on the truck today unless some miracle they throw some, you know, so, uh, throw us a bone so we can sell some. So you're wasting your time if you're going out there, if you're planning on going today. That's why I kind of doing this now. Uh, last night I was too exhausted to do this video, uh, you know, being on your feet all day and, and trying to troubleshoot people's issues can get very tiring. But uh, like I said, if you no pre-order, no card today. Um, and don't bother walking in, don't bother calling, just wait, check out our website. Uh, if you know who I am, then you know who, uh, who I work for. Anyways, so, uh, so again, this is episode seven, I'm Johnny Z, and a proper power supply. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about one big thing here. Where is it? It's not even here. Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. Once I get it out. Come on, feet. That's not it. Come on, what is it? Excuse me for a second. This, my friends, is a proper power supply. Seasonic. Uh, this is a six, uh, 650 watt and it's a gold uh, certified uh, power supply 10-year warranty from seasonic so now i've seen this one way too many times at the store that people when they're building their system kind of chintz out on the power supply don't please add to your budget when you're creating a build to to get a good power supply now the best power supplies to get number one is Seasonic. They are the best. Okay. Number two, EVGA. EVGA actually orders directly from these guys and build and they build their power supplies for them. So the power supplies for EVGA are excellent. Um, number three, Corsair. Corsair makes some very good power supplies too. I don't know who they OEM from. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that they're very good. Now, there's some other brands that I don't want to mention and don't want to make them look bad, but they're not the greatest. There was one brand that uh, our service tech guys were working on, turned it on, and sparks were flying out of the back, out of the uh, out of the power supply. So ever since then, we do not recommend that type of power supply. I mean, you don't want to see the one the one issue here. And it's, you gotta you gotta remember this when your power supply goes okay 
if there's some sort of issue, it will send a shockwave throughout your whole system and burn out your motherboard, burn out your graphics card, burn out anything electrical in there. And the worst thing about it is your CPU can also go too. So, you know, a very expensive build, your gaming machine, your Fortnite machine, your Call of Duty machine, gone on a bad power supply. Getting a good power supply is the utmost, uh, utmost important. So you're getting clean power to all the devices on the machine. So that's the key here. A good power supply will give a proper, clean sound wave of electricity to all the components. So when you're stressing your machine, you're overclocking it, you're overclocking the CPU, you're overclocking the, uh, the graphics card. By doing that, you're demanding more from the power supply and putting in there a good power supply will not break a sweat when it has to, when that demand's put on it. A bad power supply will start at first giving dirty power and causing the machine to be unstable. You don't want to do that. You don't want an unstable machine, especially if, it's, if, if this is your baby. So by putting in a good power supply, you're making sure that you're delivering clean power during you know, overclocking or even when you're not even overclocking, the machine will be stable and healthy and last you literally 10 years easily. Unless, you know, obviously you're going to upgrade for a certain type of game or what have you. So make sure you get a good power supply. Now, these power supplies may be a little bit more expensive. I'm not going to say they're, they're not. But if you're a smart shopper and you talk to your sales guy, we can find you a, a sort of, not a cheap alternative, but a power supply that w that's on sale that meets the criteria of the Seasonic, or EVGA or Corsair because there's always sales going on. That's the one th smart thing about buying your build is make sure that there's some sales going on where you can take advantage of, get yourself a good power supply. And also, you know, take that, take $200 of your budget and just budget it towards your power supply. Yes, these are not sexy, right? Not at all. It's not like a cool graphics card or a cool CPU. They are not sexy. It's a black box that sits in the bottom of your machine or top of your machine depending on the uh, case you got and and just budget it put it in there and you'll be happy for it when you do it i mean you'll be thanking me later that you have a nice stable system that will not crack under pressure so make sure you budget it talk to your sales guys see if we can, what you can find on a good power supply okay i'm going to mention this do not buy thermal take thermal take the high end line is actually not bad but their mid to low range is garbage. Please do not pick those up. Those will cause you nothing but headaches, give you crappy, crappy, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, electrical, uh, ah, what's the word? I forgot. Anyways, they're, 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 gar they're garbage. Don't, don't, please don't do that. And don't go after the $40 power supply. That $40 power supply, you're just going backwards. You, again, you're going to have problems. If you try and overclock, you're going to have even more problems. So budget properly and budget for this black box that goes in the bottom of the machine and make sure that it's there. It should be up there with your graphics card that you're going to buy and the CPU you're going to buy. So please, good power supply, good system, happy system. You got it? Okay. Anyways, that's it for today's show. I'm Johnny Z. And I am the, whatever my tagline is, the uh, the employee working at, <laughs> at a computer store. Stories of an employee working at, at a retail computer store. Anyways, check that out. Also, my next show is going to be about something very simple. And it's going to be a short video. But I think it's very important because I've seen so many issues with what people do. Uh, so check that out. I'm just going to you know, uh, give you tidbits about that, but it's going to be very interesting and very important. And it's going to, I'm going to make it to the point where it's going to be the law. Follow this. You won't have any problems. Anyways, this is episode seven. I'm Johnny Z for Z tech news. Take care. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe in the bottom of the video. And also don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Z tech news. Okay. Take care. Bye.